Urticaria is an allergic skin condition, and the causes are sometimes known and sometimes not. The presentation, however, is always the same, with hives that are highly itchy, with erythromatous area that is well demarcated, and they keep occurring and disappearing in the same area, sometimes even multiple times a day. So for example, the patient could have abdominal lesions that occur and goes away sometimes multiple times a day with the same presentation over and over. And this is of course classic for urticaria. For most patients, they have a very well-known cause or a trigger that they know. For example, the patient tells you that after taking a hot shower, these lesions occur, or after drinking coffee or alcohol or some spicy food, for example. In any case, if the trigger is known, it has to be avoided. It's caused by mast cell degranulation. And if we take a sample and put it under the microscope, we will see dermal edema with lymphatic channel dilation. It can be sometimes associated with angioedema, which is basically diffuse edema all over the body associated with skin erythema and pruritus. Acute urticaria is present in less than six weeks, and if it lasts more than six weeks, this is known as chronic urticaria. The grades we have are mild, in which the patient has less than 20 lesions present within the last 24 hours, and moderate, which is 20 to 50 lesions within the past 24 hours, and if it was more than 50, it is known as intense urticaria. The types that we have include dermatogravitism urticaria, which are lines that present after scratching the skin. It can also be seen after the patient wears tight clothes or after drying themselves off with a towel. Basically, the skin takes the shape of whatever scratches it. Cold urticaria is present after exposure to cold air or cold water. It can also be seen after cryotherapy. Cholinergic urticaria is seen after exercise. It can, and it can also be induced by emotional distress. Contact urticaria is related to a specific antigen, like touching the nickel, for example. Delayed pressure urticaria is, well, from the name, delayed pressure. So after putting a pressure on somewhere in the body and after relieving the pressure, delayed urticaria will develop. Solar urticaria develops in sun-exposed areas. Vibratory urticaria is related to vibration. And finally, aquagenic urticaria is related to exposure to salt water, or sometimes chlorinated water as well. Use the link below to get access to the full dermatology course. This includes more than 60 lectures with study notes and revision cards. You will also get access to the flashcards and MCQs. Thank you for watching.